Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I want to talk to you about a number of luxury YouTubers and luxury influencers who have basically woken up from buying luxury handbags and realized this is a waste of time and money and they're moving on from it and it's something that they're no longer interested in. And I've watched videos on this topic from Jessie from Jessie Style, from Deb at Wild Unfiltered and I've read comments on Jessie's video from Jewish Couture. I will link Jessie's channel, Deb's channel and Jewish, Jewish's channel all down below in the description box. They are three fabulous ladies. Go and check out their channels. They were talking about videos that have been put out recently by Nikki Sky, I believe, and Anna Bay, and how they have released videos on how luxury is basically a toxic culture and how they're moving on and getting rid of everything and no longer interested in this. And the ladies who I have mentioned were talking about these videos and this perception of moving on and finding a greater calling in life and no longer being interested in this. And it really, it interests me. I've talked about this before on my channel. I have talked about luxury YouTubers leaving the luxury space. I have talked about and reacted to a video on the designer brands keeping you poor or targeting the poor and a number of videos like that because I find it interesting and I will link those previous videos down below in the description box or up above if you haven't yet watch them. But I wanted to have a chat to you about these recent videos on having an awakening and waking up from this. And <laughs> I'm not having an awakening. No, I'm not. I'm not waking up from this. I'm still going to be buying this. I'm still going to be loving this. I'm still going to be enjoying it. And I'm still going to be enthusing at you down the camera whenever I have a bag to show you or something to talk about or something else that's happening in luxury fashion. And I'm still going to be overly excited about it. And I'm still going to want to share that with you because that is still something that I love. And it's something that is one of my passions. And I have made many videos over the last year about my own spending habits and how was I addicted? Am I addicted? Can I give it up? Can I not give it up? And in the end, what I decided was I don't want to give it up. I don't want to. I love it. I am still very interested in it. I still get a lot of joy in it. Now, I've also made a video saying that shopping won't fill a void. If there's something that is fundamentally wrong in your life, shopping's not going to fix that. But I have been in that place in my life and I've come through it. And I'm now in a place where I am very happy in my life. And I'm very lucky and very privileged. And I'm not just talking about the material things that are sitting around me. In fact, they would be at the bottom of that pyramid. I'm talking about what else is in my life and I'm very lucky with it. And this to me is the icing on the cake. It's how I like to enjoy my money and enjoy the money that I've worked very hard to earn and how I like to express myself is generally through the bags that I will buy and wear. You can see the colours, the prints, the fabrics. You get a sense of my personality from what is sitting around me because that is what I buy to show what I love and it's how I outwardly express that in how I dress. Now I've come from work. This is my corporate look because I have a corporate job and that will be kind of constricting me during the week because there is a certain look that I have to comply with for the type of area I work in. This is where I get to express myself and I love it. So I am not having an awakening and I am not waking up from this because I don't think that I have anything to wake up from. I enjoy it and Jerusha described it and has described it for a long time as People who love luxury like I do, or the way we talk about this on YouTube, as handbag enthusiasts, luxury enthusiasts. And I think that's the perfect description. I don't think that I have an addiction at the level of what an actual addiction is. If I need to not buy a handbag, I don't buy one. It's not like I can't go week in, week out, or month in, month out without buying something. That's not the case. When I do go and do it, very much enjoy it kind of miss it if I've been really busy in work and haven't had a chance to go and have a look. Yeah, I enjoy that and I miss it. It doesn't make me a bad person and if you still enjoy it, and one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video is if you still love luxury and if you still love spending your money on this, like I do, hi, over here, it, it's okay. It doesn't mean that we or I am any worse of a person than somebody who has decided 
not to buy this anymore or somebody who has decided that this is a bit of a waste of time because everybody will go through phases in their life at different times. People will have phases in their lives where they're interested in certain things. Take the example of luxury, where they enjoy handbags, where they collect them, where they get a thrill out of them. And some people will pass out of that. Some people will be interested in that for a period of life and then they will grow and they will evolve and their tastes will change and their interests will change and they'll no longer be interested in it. And that's absolutely fine and fabulous for them. And it's better for the bank balance than where I'm at. But that's, that's, that's completely fine. That's life. They will move on and they will no longer be interested in this. Like people may collect, I used to collect trolls. If you have watched my closet tour video, I have a whole drawer full of 1980s original trolls. I loved them. I collected them. If you'd asked me at the time if I was ever going to stop collecting them, no, I will always be collecting them. I don't collect them anymore because I grew. I grew up and it's not something that I'm interested in anymore. I still love them. They're still dotted around my house and they're still in my drawers, but I'm no longer chasing them down or looking for them. I have never grown out of handbags. I love them. I find them really fun. <laughs> I really, really enjoy them. That's not to say that maybe down the line I will grow out of them. I don't know. I don't foresee it, but certainly for now, I'm not having an awakening. I'm still happy in my little lane here on YouTube talking about the fancy dancy handbags. In fact, I used to talk to you on my other channel about business and finance, which is what my career is. It's what my every day is. And I gave that channel up because I couldn't maintain it. It was too much like work. It was too heavy and it was like what I do every day, all day. And I couldn't then come on and do it again here. There was no release in it. There was no enjoyment in it. There was no escapism in it. It felt like more work. This feels like fun. This feels like escapism and that's why I do this. That's why I don't do the other channel anymore because it feels like work. This is fun to me. And if it's fun to you, that's okay. Just because some people move on and are no, which they're entirely, absolutely entitled to do. If they move on and are no longer interested in luxury bags, are no longer interested in spending their money on this, crazy money on this, fully accept that, that's, that's completely fine for them. But it doesn't mean that their new choices are any better than my current choices. And it doesn't mean that their new choices are any better than the choices that you're still making if you love these. It's just that they're making different choices. Doesn't mean they're better. And I don't, the one thing that kind of aggravates me a little bit about some of these videos that you will watch is that some people will move on from frivolous luxury spending. <laughs> it is frivolous, I get that totally. Is it worth it? No. Is it worth it to me? Yes. Some people will move on from this and in so doing, they almost come across as if this was a bad thing and they've got over a bad thing and that they're almost superior now or a better person because they don't waste their money on frivolous handbags and they don't waste their own money, by the way, our own money on frivolous handbags. I don't like that side of it. I don't think that what you choose to do or what I choose to do makes you or I any better with what we do with our money. You see here on YouTube what I do, and I appreciate this is privileged before I say it, but you see here on YouTube what I do with a percentage, a fraction of my money. This is not where all of my money goes. You don't know about the donations that are made every month. You don't know about where my investments and savings and different things are. I've told you often and openly that my finances are very managed. I have investments, I have other streams of income, I put certain amount of money into an account that I spend from, but I am sensible with my money. So you do know that part, but you don't know the extent of it or where it goes and you don't know about the different organisations that benefit from my company every month of money that goes out because that's not what this channel's for. This channel's for fun and handbags and lovely things and that's where it's going to stay. But just because you see me spending my money like this or any of us spending our money like this, as Jewish calls us, enthusiasts, spending our money on things we love, 
It doesn't mean that those who have now chosen to not do that are somehow better or superior because they don't waste their money on this anymore. I, I don't think this is wasting my money. I quite love it. Thanks very much. I, I quite love it. And I, I feel really good when I carry these bags. There are certain bags that when I put an outfit together and I go out with, I just feel like I'm vibing. And maybe that's arrogant of me. And maybe that means I need to stop looking in the mirror. But mirror. But I, I just love them. And it brings me fun and joy. And I just wanted to get my two cents worth out because if you've been around here for a while, I am always pretty straight with you. Sometimes to my detriment, sometimes I have made videos that are probably too honest. Talking about when I did think I had maybe become a little bit addicted to shopping, there was a time when I bought a bag that I bought pretty much on a whim and I knew I didn't love that bag enough and that kind of woke me up a bit and realized your shopping's getting a little bit out of control because I had stopped buying things bags that I absolutely loved and adored and started to buy bags that, yeah, right, yeah, I really like that, yeah, it's cool, yeah, yeah, I really like it. Not enough for this sort of money. And that kind of caused me to have a bit of inner self-reflection and to reflect on how I spend and what I was buying. And I only want to buy and add bags that I absolutely love and that's kind of where I'm at at the minute. And that did lead me to make a few videos talking about not buying bags anymore, taking a break where I was at. And I talked to you as I figured my way through that. And maybe that was too honest because it was up and it was down and it was round and it was a journey. <laughs> it was a journey on my process of where I was going. And maybe that is to my detriment, but I always want to be honest and direct because that is just who I am. And I still buy them, still love them, still gonna have great crack on here talking to you about them, even though my own husband wonders how I can come and talk to you for so long about handbags and why you want to watch about it because it's fun, but it's it's not anything that makes us worse than anybody else. Just because we enjoy this and spend our money on what some people think is material and superficial and frivolous doesn't mean the persons who no longer do that are better than us, doesn't mean their choices are better. As I said, it just means they're different. In relation to the videos that are talking about luxury brands keeping us poor and they're, we're all almost brainwashed into buying these bags, I've talked about that before and I will link that video down below and above. But in very short summary, everybody is open to influence because if you love these things and you're watching the channels or you're watching the fashion shows or you're watching Instagram, there's going to be bags you're influenced to buy. I've been influenced to buy bags before don't necessarily always think it's a bad thing. And I have went on to love those bags. I do not think that I have been brainwashed in to buying handbags. I love handbags and I love buying them. I do think I've been open to influence on certain bags before. Of course I do, I'm human. Everybody's open to influence. But I don't think that I'm <laughs> lost my own mind. I, I'm quite determined in my own mind and I can be quite pig-headed in my own mind at times. <laughs> this is something that I want to do. And I, I think most people would say it would be quite hard to get me to do something that I adamantly did not want to do. So I, I, I think that that's maybe a little bit of a stretch and keeping us poor or being targeted at the poor. I'm going to link that other video because I've already addressed that in detail. And I think that sometimes some of the comments on the videos can be a little bit judgmental. In some of them but I will link those videos down below if that's another area of this discussion that you're interested in. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's toxic and awful and terrible to have a luxury wall of handbags behind you just like this one? There was one of the videos I think it was maybe Anna Bay that was saying that you don't need to have a wardrobe like a big closet. I just laughed because I, I'm not that Anna Bay's channel is not a channel that I watch. And I I struggle to um, take that seriously from someone whose channel was built on how to be elegant to potentially marry into high society. That's just not, that's not me. So that's not something that I'm going to take a lot of criticism from, but <laughs> I did think it was interesting, but I'm certainly not having an awakening. Let me know what you think. Do you think that you're going to, if you do buy and love luxury or love watching luxury, are you gonna to continue to do so? Do you think that there is maybe a slightly more cynical element to this? Do you think that it is potentially certain creators following trends or there has been a suggestion that it's clickbait or 
it's topic bait, it's following what's a big topic at the minute and it is playing to that because obviously the world is in a position where the economy is not where it's at. And I did read a comment on somebody's video saying, well, the, con the economy's better than it's been and unemployment's better than it's been. Maybe, but we are facing a recession and there are a lot of people really struggling and countries really struggling and there are economic difficult times coming. And I do think that's had an impact on luxury shopping. Certainly the resale market has slowed considerably. There are bags sitting for sale on the resale sites that used to go like that, that are now sitting long enough to be reduced. And that's new, that's back to pre lockdown hype levels of luxury shopping. And I do think that's having an impact. So do you think that potentially some of these creators are following the views and are following the topics that are more popular and are trying to play to the audience about how luxury is maybe not the most popular thing at the minute and maybe spending your money on these bags when there are other things that are going on in the world, which we're not blind to, by the way. And I've often said, this is just a little bit of escapism. I know what's going on in the world. I employ people. I watch the news. I, I can see all of that. But this is not what this channel's for. This is just a little tiny bit of me that you see here. And it's a little fun escapism bit. So it's not that I am blind to what's going on in the world, but do you think that some of those channels are potentially following what is a more on-trend topic? and maybe following those views. One of the benefits I suppose that I have and smaller channels like myself have is I have a business, this is not my full-time job. So I can come on here and talk to you about whatever I want and whatever I like and what interests me. I don't have to chase the topics that are trending. So I don't have to suddenly tell you that I'm not buying any handbags and I'm going to be a minimalist. I'm never going to be a minimalist. I like my things. <laughs> and if that makes me a bad person, bad person, I don't think it does. I just think it makes me different. I'm not a minimalist. Other people will not be a maximalist. They won't like all of this around them. I do. I feel comfortable here. I feel at peace. I feel good surrounded by things that I love. And again, I'm not just talking about material things. I have four dogs as well. Minimalists, I think, would they would drive them nuts because believe me, my four dogs are not minimalist. But I go off on a tangent. Anyway, back to point. Do I think that that could be part of it? Do you think that could be part of it? That they're following what may be more popular on trend topics? Maybe. Let me know what you think in the comment box. I would love to hear your views on this discussion. These videos always really interest me because you get really good discussions in the comment box and everybody has differing views. The only thing I will say is the world, the YouTube space is big enough for all of those differing views. Please just keep your views respectful in the comment box. If you disagree with me or you disagree with other people that are commenting, just please keep them respectful and yeah, we can all disagree, but we don't have to fall out about it. Thank you so much for watching this. Let me know what you think in the comment box because I get intrigued by these. If you're not done with me yet, I'm gonna leave another video for you on the screen to enjoy. And if you've enjoyed this chit chat in any way, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.